Tatiana Hollander with Screen Rant. We're at Comic Con with Christina Nasa from Evil. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. How has the con experience been? It's first time in three years. Evil has grown in popularity. Do you feel that? Yeah, because when we first came here in 2019, did you? I don't think mm -mm. you came. I didn't. Uh, when I was here in 2019, nobody knew of our show. We didn't really know our show <laughs> at that point. You know, we had, I, I, had we, I think we were just starting season mm. one. So, um, yeah, it was, it was very, like we had no idea where it was going or what kind of show it was going to be ultimately. And now it feels like we've really got an audience mm -hmm. and, you know, there were 4,500 people that showed up this morning at oh. 10 in the morning to come and see us on our panel, which is super exciting because, you know, those are all the people who are watching the show, so yeah. it's great. Absolutely. And I, this is my first time mm -hmm. at Comic-Con ever. Oh, ever? ever. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, in 40 years mm -hmm. of, the, of me being in this business. Wow. And I just say, I think it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. And all the people dressing in these costumes, I think it's just fantastic mm -hmm. that they get to live out whatever fantasy or weirdness or <laughs> nerdiness, whatever it is, is they just get to do it and celebrate it. Right. I think it's really sweet. Right. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a, really a Comic Con when you were doing Chicago. Hope. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I was asked to come to, after some show I did mm -hmm. and sign autographs for like twenty dollars a pop. Uh, oh, and hey! I thought that was so crass, <laughs> weird. Like, okay, my signature is worth twenty dollars. Should have been two hundred. Should have been two hundred. I did. It, I did. <laughs> Oh, yeah, only because, because I didn't wanted to charge more. Right, right, right of course. Because yeah. you were worth more. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my I, gosh. I definitely I signed, I signed the uh, the Spider Man um, playing cards <gasps> for uh, for a fee. Uh, for a fee. How much? Uh, oh, he's not going to reveal? $7,000. No, I don't remember <laughs> now what it was. But I signed literally like a thousand playing cards. But, I sat in my apartment yeah. all day long. Oh, my gosh. playing cards for yeah. But not at Comic-Con. Yeah, you didn't do it no, like, in person. All right, right, all right. It was the kind of thing that people would often do at Comic-Con. Right, right? Yeah. for sure, yeah. yeah. That was I remember that was always waiting in those lines. Yeah, so yeah. that's no longer a Comic-Con? I mean, I think it that? does still happen, but not as often. Right. It's like, there's like really specific moments, and it's more like you like win a lottery or whatever, and then you I go see, to that. Now, um... Evil has gotten so much bigger than I anticipated when it first started. For you two, it is the kings. So of course you're like, well, it's going to be quality and there's going to be like a, lo a loyal fan base. But do you expect it to expand the way that it did? I think that having it on Netflix mm -hmm. that one season really helped, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the kings are just the kings. They're, you just can't say enough about them, mm -hmm. how smart and topical and mm -hmm. funny and, and original. Right. Um, their writing is so I, I just feel so lucky and I'm so happy I've never mm -hmm. actually been on a show that well first of all <laughs> all the shows I did there wasn't such a thing as Twitter so <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> there was no internet sure. there was nothing right. we, didn't have, we didn't have cars <laughs> <laughs> so so I now I'm getting these comments from fans on Twitter about my character what she's doing and mm. well, we don't like her we hate her we love her we love to hate her we love to hate Cheryl <laughs> But yeah. that's really fun. Yeah, I like engaging fun. with fans mm -hmm. that way. I it is that. fun. It's fun to hear what they think. And also, I think, um, you know, the show, the Kings really write, a, it's a complex show. Mm -hmm. It's not just sort of like scare of the week or something, you know, yeah. and, it, and, and, and it deals with issues and mm -hmm. it's funny and weird and absurd and kind of, you know, and I think it's why people have like stepped into right. this hall of mirrors mm -hmm and kind of followed yeah. the story of these characters. And, and I think it's why people are staying with the show. Right. Because, and we also tease them with enough. Mm -hmm. to, you know, the Kings are great at sort of like teasing stuff and then not giving it away too quickly. Yeah. So I think people mm -hmm. stay. Yeah, with and every season is getting kind of like wilder. It builds on itself. Yes. You know, I never know what to expect with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. This season has been especially uh, weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For you, what has been the most memorable or standout moment for Ben, either that has happened or that you're looking forward to well the next there's episode. an episode that's coming up this mm -hmm. weekend where ben there was a scene that i had to shoot where i was doused in goat blood oh for in the middle and it, we shot it like at two in the morning <laughs> in the middle of a field <laughs> and i was literally in this st the stuff they use is like clearly not goat blood but it's, <laughs> it's some kind of weird concoction of like sugar and and syrup and red dye or something and it was like in my ears and in my eyelashes oh, no. and down my neck. And it was just like, 
if you, if you could imagine your entire body just covered in a kind of like maple syrup, sort of like just in my underpants. It was horrible. It was no. the worst feeling. And we shot, we were there for like three hours and it was freezing cold. Oh. So it froze to your and it Oh my goodness. It stuck to me. It's it like a maple icicle. Yeah, yeah. I was, oh, yeah, Lord. It was like a candy apple. <laughs> the end of it. That sounds incredibly memorable. Yeah. And delicious. <laughs> and delicious. Way. I was gonna say, I hope it tastes so good. Uh, speaking of delicious, Cheryl's uh, downward spiral, or really like upward climb into well, evil. There you go. Can we, <laughs> as we get to the end of the season, where is that taking us? How deliciously evil will she get? She gets more and more evil, I think, but um, for her, it's more and more empowerment mm -hmm. and success and power in a, in a man's world mm -hmm. that she's been desperate to have. And I think it's all leading towards some kind of revenge. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, you were asking what was the most kind of alarming oh, yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. I think last, uh, last week's episode when, the, when Andy's on the shelf. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And I had to do the manicure. Or I got <laughs> to do the manicure. <laughs> I just love doing that scene so much. The absurdity, the humor, the horror, the 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 revenge of it. Because I'm just so happy that he's there, mm -hmm. and he's okay. He's not gonna die. I mean, fine, he's paralyzed, but he's, he's got a nice sign you can look at. Poor Andy. I was like, Cheryl like hates him. You think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, you know what he did to me? He yeah. threatened to take away my family and he kicked me out of my home. So, hello. Right. I think he, he, you know, he just crossed the wrong person. Exactly. He deserved that. Yeah. Exactly. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, for the triumvirate, right? Yeah. You've got the, we've got our, our trio. How does Our Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah. How do you grow together with Katya and um and, and, and Mike and Coulter, Mike, as you as you go through the seasons, how do we grow together? Yeah, you grow together as actors, as your characters well, evolve we've in got, your dynamic. Yeah, I think we've you know gotten to know each other better yeah. over the course of time, and so I think it's, it reflects itself mm -hmm. on screen now, and mm -hmm. you know, and, and and I think there's a natural chemistry. We always actually ended up having an interesting natural chemistry in the very beginning as well. Like, but as we've gotten to know each other, we have our. I feel like more and more. They will when we're shooting, the three of us will just sort of be in our own dynamic, mm -hmm. and then they'll just we'll just go right into the scene, and and often the the natural energy that we bring as three as Mike and Katya and mm -hmm. Asif transfers right into right. Ben and David and Kristen. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think you it's nice. You don't really like them. Oh <laughs> no, I mean I don't. I don't Oh, did that not be? Was that not clear? Sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, it's I, secret. I, I dislike them immensely. No, but that's that's part of why it works so. Well. The, the hate, you know, and yeah, love. Yeah, I, fine, yeah. The fine I line. Say, the fine I line. Say it's just like it's more contempt. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, we're it's more contempt. Yeah. It's more disgust. Yeah, yeah disgust. Like a kind of, like 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 a bad smell. Oh. In, you know. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Well, this has been a long day. Yes, clearly. Yeah. It's all coming out now. It's all yeah. good. This is a therapy session. It's exactly. a safe space. Don't worry. <laughs> um, now, you talked about, like, you know, it's not just a scare of the week, but every week there is not only scares, but, like, deep uh, philosophical questionings about mm -hmm. life and existence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Has there been one that stands out to you most, or how does it make you reflect on your own life and what you believe? Oh, you take that. Sure. Uh, well, uh, I guess the episode that stands out for me in terms of Cheryl mm -hmm. is when she confronted her ma her boss, mm -hmm. the manager, who was a demon, and she thought she was having a psychotic breakdown, mm -hmm. and she realizes, um, thanks to Leland, that it's actually a gift, that mm -hmm. she's able to now see people's true essence, their aura. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the, the show for me always, that fine line between is it, a religious sort of, mm -hmm. you know, possession, evil, or is it a psychological explanation? I always am on the psychological mm -hmm. exploration, exploration. But I, I think um, Cheryl is is also there. She doesn't believe there's no demons, right. there's no monsters. It's just that she's seeing the, you know, the true mm -hmm. nature of people, which I think is really exciting mm -hmm. for her. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting. Uh, yeah, I think for Ben, it's like he really, you know, this season especially has been really trying to get back to there's so many things that he hasn't been able to explain and I think he needs to, to find some kind of sanity mm -hmm. some kind of like ground where he can you know the, the 
he's last season, you know, there were a lot of things that happened to Ben where he was just like, I don't know how to, right. I don't know how to explain this stuff, you mm -hmm. know, and, and that's really frustrating. And so I think it's like, he needs to get back to, to science and, 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 and pragmatism mm -hmm. and, and, and sort of find the ground of way, where he lives. It's yeah. almost like your character's cynicism has been shaken. You know, yeah, yeah, no, mm -hmm. I think he has. I mean, that whole ex ex episode that we did last season on the elevator mm -hmm. yeah. was, was really, like, I think he confronted, and it's, it's always been interesting to me that when Ben thought he was dying, mm -hmm. he prayed. Right. Mm. And the fact that he prayed makes me believe that there is something inside of him that is still mm -hmm. sus susceptible to religion mm -hmm. and susceptible yeah. to... Um, to believing in something right. outside of, yeah. of the, 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 just the pragmatist yeah. reality. You that's, know? that's almost like the human condition, too, in a way that the yeah. show yes. really explores. Right. Like when you're in a situation, right. like something you're like, like what yeah. can I look to? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, so finally, uh, you've already been renewed for season four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excitement. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. More. Uh, what, is there any aspect of your story or life that hasn't been explored yet that you would like to pitch? Like maybe we should do that. I, there's a lot of stuff in Ben's background that mm -hmm. hasn't been, has been set up, that hasn't been explored, but I was thinking about this, that there's something about, you know, Mike's been dealing with this thing, mm -hmm. the entity, and, and I would love for Ben to, to uh, find out about right. that and have a real issue mm -hmm. with that because there's a real parallel between the entity of the Catholic Church, which is sort of doing these nefarious things in the name of good, and where Ben came from, which was the pharmaceutical mm, world, right? Where there's a lot of the same kind of things mm -hmm. going on. So I wonder if Ben Ben finds out. I would yeah. love for Ben to find out about that. That could be an intense. Yeah. And try to like do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hope that Cheryl uh, brings Leland down. Yes. Mm. No, I mean, the, your, your granddaughters have already done some damage. They have, have started the damage. They're doing, they're doing really well with they're that. They're doing great. And I think that's Cheryl's ultimate mm -hmm. goal. And she's pretending to be, you know, under his influence. And mm -hmm. she hasn't needed him and used him. But I think it's all about okay. eventually bringing him down. And I hope there's some, maybe, you know, my, my dream would be that Kristen and I, Kristen and Cheryl together, bring him down. Oh. There's some redemptive... Right. Thing. I know she's going to be a little mad at me when she finds out that our family her forgives. Husband on the <laughs> shelf. <laughs> yes. But if you can help her bring Leland down, maybe she. There you go. It's a bargain. Exactly. It's like, I can help you bring Leland yeah. down. So why don't you let me off the hook with the whole, with the whole like, husband yeah. on the shelf? There you go. Shelf. See, that's like the moral quandary yeah, right there. there. Balancing the scales. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank I hope you, you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I can't wait for more evil. Thank you.